All right, folks, check it out. In this episode today, in 11 Gallery ATV, we're going to continue on where we left off after we got the motor out, and um, we're going to just get the rest of this stuff. We're going to get this down to the bare frame and get the parts off to the powder coater. Maybe the axle? Haven't decided yet. I'm not quite sure what we're going to do with all this stuff yet. But we're going to get it tore down uh, to the point where I can make a few decisions. I already know what I'm going to do with the frame, uh, the swing arm, and the subframe. So we can get those off to the powder cover. I'm not sure yet what we're going to do with the arms, with the A-arms there. The axle, I haven't quite decided yet to do with that either. If you Let me know down there in the comments what you think I should do with all this stuff. Uh, yeah, give me, give me your input on what you think I should do, the colors, uh, powder coating, anything. Just let me know what you think uh, I should do and I'll, uh, I'll check you guys out, man. I appreciate, once again, I appreciate all you guys that have subscribed and I appreciate all of you guys that have gave me the support to keep on doing this. It's so awesome that you guys uh, enjoy what I'm doing. And anyway, yeah. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that down there. Yeah, just click that subscribe button and then uh, click the all bell. Bing, bing. <laughs> so you can get notified of all of the uh, upcoming episodes of this YFZ 450 from 11 Gallery ATV. Yes. Um, yeah, so make sure you do that. Uh, anyway, let's get this baby tore down. All right, so the very first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna start pulling off, we're gonna start at the rear back here, and we're gonna start taking off all the extra stuff that's hanging out, like these uh, canisters and tubes and wiring. We're gonna get the wire harness out. Uh, let's get all the thing, so we got just bare metal stuff left. Let's get all of the accessories off of this thing so we can tear it down all the way. All right, so first we're gonna do is we're gonna pop these guys. So there's a little clip on here. It goes right there. And then there's a clip on here. We're gonna undo that. Then there's a clip here that clips these two together. So we'll take that off and then this guy come off of there. And then there's a clip on here. You can just shove this guy through. And then it's supposed to, yeah, there you go. See, then it just comes off like that. And then there's a clip here. All right, so then let's just get this guy out of here. All right, next we can crack these, uh, the rest of these guys off. Actually, you know what? Let's get rid of that tube right there. It just uh, unhooks right here. All right, let's not. <laughs> let's just undo these right here. And this one. And there we go. That's all there is to that guy. And next we can get this guy off of there. All right, so this one has a collar behind that goes into there. And so does the other one. They both have collars that go through there, so they will go like this with a washer and a collar on the back. All right, next we can get this tail light off of here. And we're gonna have to unclip it right here. And then we're gonna undo these two Phillips screws right here and it should just like crank right on out of there. So let's get this done. And you wanna push this little tab in right here. And then what I do is uh, push it and pull at the same time. There we go. Wow, that's corroded and dusty grimy in there we'll clean all this up but then we can undo these 
All right, so we're just a Phillips screw and a big ass washer, and then a rubber grommet in there. And that's all there is to that. Might as well just pop these rubber grommets off. They gotta come off for us to go to the powder coater anyway. All right, and now there's just a little tab back here that all these wires are stuffed into. So we'll just uh, undo that. And that comes out. And then the wire harness, boom. So let me have one more clip on the end of the wire harness here. And now we have our tail light wires all ready to rock and roll. All right, folks, now we can get this wire harness out of here the rest of the way. And basically, uh, there was just a few clips that were holding it to the frame on the way from the back. And you can figure out how to get those off. That's, they're not any big deal. They're just little uh, plastic clips. Uh, anyway, now that we're this far, though, I just want to make note of these. Uh, we're going to get the controls out of here, too. And they get wrapped right here. So this is going to be the uh, switch right here, the switch assembly. And what else we got in here? Looks like uh, the clutch lever, clutch perch. And, nope, not this guy. You can go back through here. This is the throttle. Let me just get rid of this guy. Oh. Well, part of the throttle's in there. <laughs> of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? Right? All right, so a piece of the thumb throttle goes into that little cable. And also, I think this one right here is the brake light, the front brake light. So it's attached onto there. All right, so basically, we'll just pull this guy all the way out of there. And we got a clip right here, and these guys, all you do is pull up on this tab right here, and then these back back out again. Boom. And then these, all you do is you pull these little pieces of plastic that are covering it forward. And then you can slide this out. Well, this one doesn't want to work at all. Oh, all right, this one's being a dick. Or, you can just cut it. Okay. So now, what we have is a bunch of wires inside of this clip. So we're going to pull this guy back. And look at that. That will expose all of our clips we can undo. And they're all going to work the same way as before. So yeah, they just, uh, they all unhook just like all the other clips do. So here's the black is the front brake light. Actually, you know what? It doesn't really matter because we'll just match wires when we put it back together. And then this is the switch assembly. Well, these are a little different, of course. Why wouldn't they be? Punch this guy in and pull this guy out. And then of course this one's different. Punch that one in. And then, this guy. All right, so there's the switch. And the thumb throttle we got off of there with the throttle mechanism wiring. Now we got the clutch. And that is these little clippy doos.
it's clipped inside of there. That looks strange for a second. I don't know why. All right, so we got one of each clip right here. These are the black, all black, and then the black and yellow. All right, now we got a few clips down here. We're gonna have to undo this guy, this guy, unclip him. I'm guessing this goes to the voltage regulator here, the regulator rectifier. Another clip over here. Uh, so let's just start here. We push this out and push these guys back through. Boom. So these come out and then these just pull back right on through again. And then these, wow, that one's gonna be a pain. That one's way up in there. Anyway, you're gonna stay there for now. Dang it, it has to come out. You know what, I'm breaking this one. We'll get another one. <laughs> There's no way I can get that out without a lot of finagling that I don't wanna mess with. So look at that. That is gonna cause a problem. And that probably is why some of this stuff had problems. We need to fix that. Now we have another clip right here, of course, that's way up in there. All right, so he's ready to come off and this stuff's ready to go. All right, so let's continue on before we take that regular rectifier off. It's just hanging there, it'll be all right. Let's get the rest of this wire harness out. And uh, first we're gonna unhook the CDI and this fuses here. So these guys just pop right on off of there. And then one goes over and one goes under. And then these just come unclipped. You got a little switch back here, you push this in, and now they should come undone. This guy comes right up on off of there too. But these are the clips I was talking about. They have these where you push it in and pull, but they don't seem to wanna come loose. Aha, there goes one. Ah, there goes the other, woo! Those did not want to budge off of there very good. All right, so that's about it almost for the wire harness. We're just hanging right now on the thread, uh, on, the, on the frame right here. And we have one more clip, this right here. I'm not really sure which one is which. Is this a voltage regulator or maybe this is some kind of AC to DC adapter. It looks like this has two different ones on it for some reason. Uh, anyway, this guy unclips. Jeez. Okay. Now, that's it. We are all wire harnessed out. All right, now that we're right here, let's just zip this guy off of here couple of eight mils all right and then let's just zip these uh, frame mounts off the plat for the plastics here 10 millimeter and then we have another one on the other side All right, now as long as we're up here in front still, let's just go ahead and get rid of that bumper. And there's four bolts, one, two, three, and four. And they are 12 millimeters, so let's just bust them dogs off there. And that's all there is to that. Wow, that's a really, really light bumper. Aluminum, aluminum, aluminum. All right, now we can get rid of this regulator right here. One of the regulators, I'm not quite sure which one gives what, but this is a four millimeter Allen head, so let's just get rid of that. I can't fit my impact in there, so we gotta do it the old fashioned way. 
And you got one Allen head on this side and one on the other side. Four mil Allen head. All right, folks, check it out. Now we got all the wiring out of there. We got all of the reservoirs off. We got all the tubes out. Uh, we're looking pretty slim. We're almost there. Now, let's remove a few more pieces off the front end before we go to the back end and get the axle out of there. So we're gonna have to keep on rotating between the front end and the back end so that we can stay balanced on the lift. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to put it on the ground and that's just stupid. So, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get rid of the brake system. So the brakes and all the brake lines going up into here and then the brake uh, lever and the whole system, we'll get the brakes out and maybe the hubs, I'm not sure how we're gonna roll this yet. We'll see how balanced we are, but the brakes, this is my plan, the brakes and then the hubs. And then we'll leave the arms and the shocks on, and then we'll go to the rear, and we'll get the axle out of there. That should keep everything balanced. So let's get to town, let's get these brakes off of there. All right, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna crack this guy. forgot about something. Before we start cracking all this stuff, we're gonna have to get the brake fluid out of there because it's still hooked up and under pressure. So let's just get the brake fluid out. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crack the, this uh, banjo bolt right here and then we're just gonna let this drip. And I got a pan down here, so we'll let it drip into there. And that'll be that. Whew, this is some smelly brake fluid. So this has been a while, I'm guessing. All right, well, as long as we're down here and we got the 12 millimeter on the impact, let's just bust that guy right on off of there. All right, now let's just continue on. Now that we got this guy hanging, let's just drop this guy off. This is an eight millimeter. And then we have a bracket here, which is just holding on one side on the top, one side on the bottom. Boom. All right, now we'll zip out this guy right here. Boom. That takes care of this side. All right, so now we can do the same to the other brake. So let's get this baby cracked and get this baby uh, draining. And then we can just zip that guy right on off of there. All right, now all you got left is this guy to crack because then this will come off right here and then the whole thing will slide right on out because we already broke the top. So there we go. There's that. And then this on the bottom and then one on the top. And then boom, we're loose. And now the whole thing, if we bend that, we don't want to bend that. Doesn't matter. We're not putting this system back on. We're getting new uh, stainless brake lines all the way around on this build for sure. We'll try to keep it intact. And there you go. All right, now that we got all that front assembly out of there, we got one more thing left to do. And we still got the uh, lever hose attached onto here and we just take ourselves a little chisel and we crack this, crack this clip on out of there. Just 
just like that. And then that guy just pops right on out. All right, folks, as long as we're up here in the front, let's just continue on in the front and let's just get this wheel hub off of there. So what we're gonna do first is remove these collar pins here, here, and then we have one over here. And we're gonna remove these guys and get it off of the A-arms and off the tie rod ends here. So that's what I do is I squish them together and then slide it back on through sometimes until you get it where you can pull it, which we can now. Boom. And then we'll do this guy. Boom. And then we'll do this guy. Boom. Now I believe these are 17s. They are. So in order to get in here, we can't use our impact. We can use the impact up here though. So let's get this guy off first. Let's just try as a breaker bar first. Can I get that in there? Uh, barely. Well, let's try the socket. Nope. Let's try that again. Nope. Let's get a flatter one of these. Yep. There we go. That's a little bit shorter. Boom. I think we're going to do this all once. Okay, I'm gonna give this baby a whirl with my foot on here. Boom! Let's try to crack the other one as long as we're up here. Oh man. Boom! So it's got a castle nut and a washer. Castle nut and a washer. Why won't you come out of there? All right, if it doesn't work, you know what you do? Get a bigger hammer. Yep, that's exactly right. All right, so here's what I'm doing is I'm trying to crack this guy down through Does not want to come out. Why not? One eternity later. All right, folks, so I can't get those to budge. So I'm thinking maybe I'll take the shock out. Maybe it'll relieve some of the pressure and they'll be easier to get out. So let's give that a try. Once again, I've never worked on a YFZ450, so I don't really know how these front ends work that well. Um, I'm more accustomed to the Honda style, but anyway, let's, let's, uh, we just crack these off for 17s. With a 14 inch in the front, I mean 14 millimeter in the front. All right, then we got a bottom one. Same way. All right, so let's crack this guy and see if anything changes. So we need to get the cotter pin out of there. All right, now let's try to crack that guy. 22. Now what are the odds this thing cracks off of there? 
pretty good. Woo! <laughs> All right, now, what? Oh, well now that. That was pretty easy, huh? And now we got this guy. Much better. All right, now we're back to our dilemma. <laughs> These things still don't move. What is happening? How do I get that off of there? Well, there's a washer, by the way, that goes behind. Huh. I don't know how to get those off. That's what she said. Woo. <laughs> Woo. All right. <laughs> All right, well, let's just start on the other side. And maybe we can uh, crack some of this side and we'll see if anything loosens up. Let's start with the shock this time and just get that dog on out of there. All right, now let's bust off the collar pins. Good God. All right, now we got the 17 on there, right? Let's just bust this guy. You also do not move, why? Now, once again, nothing moves. Beautiful. So, let's just get this guy off of there. And then we'll go to the back. We'll come back to this shit later. Thank you. All right, now we're 22 millimeter again. And of course, this one doesn't come off. The other side came off nicely, and this side won't budge because why would it? Because, because. All right, folks, I can't get any of that to budge. So we're gonna have to let it soak for a while in the MPPL, the multi-purpose penetrant lube which frees anything you can use, uh, all that, any, anything you want, WD-40 or uh, uh, whatever that other name is, that cheap crap that, I can't remember what it's called, but use that too, whatever you want to use. But anyway, yeah, make sure that you subscribe and uh, make sure that you click that all button, click that all bell, to make sure that you get notified every time 11 Gallery ATV puts out the new videos. Yeah, you want to keep up with this build, we're going to get all of this hooked up and powder coated up and rebuilt and obviously we have new hubs in the front though we have brand new hubs off of a 2020 model so yeah you want to keep up with that and uh all right folks check it out so i figured out how to get these out they are pressed in so i did not know that i was kind of onto the right track though i kind of i thought they were seized in there but they're not seized in there they're pressed in so they're supposed to be like that so uh, since we're going to replace them, you don't want to bash on them, but I'm going to. <laughs> so what I'm going to do though is I'm going to put the nut back on, but upside down. 
So we'll just thread the castle nut back on a little bit so that we don't mushroom the threads out too bad so that it'll be able to come back out again. And then we'll just bash it on out with a hammer. All right, so let's uh, pound this son of a bitch out. So we want to just crack it. There it went. That was in there. It came out. And now I don't know if we're ever going to get this nut back off again. <laughs> we're going to find out though. So let's grab this and see if we can't back that back off of there. Hey, I got it. Well, there you go. Woo! Now these have to be pressed out of this guy because we're going to have to reuse this. So we'll take this to my buddy in the press. And uh, yeah, we'll remove these arms and probably press these out as well uh, rather than bashing on them anymore. I don't know if I did any damage. I doubt it, but I know I damaged these. And that's okay though. We're going to get new ball joints and new tie rods. That's how you get those off. This, however should come off. That is definitely seized on there because you saw the other side came off. Now this, we have a new one of these too, so I've tried bashing on it with a hammer. The collar came out though, but you can tell it's nasty in there. Pop the seal out and oh my God. Let's hit it with some, that is nasty. Well, I guess I should have put something on the ground first. All right, folks, so it looks like that bearing is seized on there. And, um, uh, well, you get the picture. This is what you got to do in order to get all this stuff to work like this. So I'm not going to keep recording this. If I get it off, fine. If not, that's fine, too. But we're going to have to press these out of here somehow. Uh, I'll probably just remove the A-arms. And, boy, what a pain in the ass this is, man. I don't like this setup. Anyhow, I kind of do, though, now that I think about it. It has its advantages and disadvantages. Disadvantages is of course this versus the Honda ones where they just come out uh, versus you can't replace the ball joints in the Honda A-Arms, in the 400EX anyway. So here we go. I like this idea. We can replace the ball joints. They're pressed in. All right, so let's just finish up this side right here. We're just gonna take these A-Arms off and then we'll figure out, we'll just take the A-Arms off the other side too and then we'll just press everything out and we'll get everything under control. But, uh, yeah, let's hit this side first so we can get in there with that. And then we can hit it with the, the impact. Or not. Now we need to do the same to the top. Except for the top one looks like it just has one big ass bolt going through it. So this is gonna suck because I can't get that in there. Hopefully I can get it like this. Well that's a good sign. one Woo -woo. but this long ass bolt goes on top and there's a mosquito biting me right now and I can't reach it isn't that a son of a bitch and we'll just put this right back on through again so that we know that it goes on there 
Of course, what else would go on there in this big ass long bolt? <laughs> anyway, that'll keep us from losing the parts too. So now these guys should just pop on out of there too. Technically. They don't seem like they want to move, of course. There we go. Boom. There we go. And now we should just be able to pop these guys right on out of there. Boom. All right. And now let's just put these back through again so that we don't lose the pieces. And then this guy goes through this side. All right. All right, now technically you should be able to do that to the other side as well, but we're gonna have to take ours off in one big giant piece over there on the other side and uh, press out all the, the ball joints and all that stuff. So yeah, that's that. Let's move on to the rear end and get that sucker off. All right, so let's start with this grab bar. Let's just get that off there. A couple 12 mils on this side and 12 mils on that side, and that's that. And a bracket in the back. It was in here, I'm guessing, but goes the other way. Yes, right there. So it faces back this way. And we'll just zing these guys off. And that's all there is to that. All right, folks, let's leave that front on there. And uh, that'll keep it balanced here until we get the back end off. Otherwise, we're going to start falling off the lift here. So it actually worked out pretty good that we can't get the front off. <laughs> so, yeah, let's get this off, and then we'll get them the other set of A-arms off of here, and then we'll be ready to rock and roll. First up in the rear end here is let's get this hub off right here. And we need to bust the, the cotter pin. Boom. And now we can crack this uh this guy right here. We might have to you know what we're gonna do? Tell you what. We're gonna go this way. So let's put uh Boom, look at that. That's not going nowhere. And then we need a 24 millimeter here. Whoa, now we got a problem, Houston, because there's no way for me to get any torque on that when it's up on the lift like this. So this is where I need a friend. It's just me here. I have no friends. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, I might have to call somebody to come over and help me out with this because I can't hold it, torque it, crack it, do all that stuff at the same time. I think somebody painted it, and it's that... uh stuck on there which is not cool wow that thing vibrated my stuff apart that is not crackalacking and somebody did paint it i can see right there i might have to put some paint dissolver on this thing i don't know how to get that off now son of a bitch why do people do dumb stupid shit like that all right folks so after a million tries maybe a million and one, <laughs> I couldn't get that thing to budge. I even uh, took it off the jack and had this guy on there with an extra, like so, and had that locked in there and was jumping on it and it wouldn't move. So, so far I haven't damaged anything or broken any bones or did anything crazy, but you can see that the paint is all in there and uh yeah somebody has painted that shut all right folks check this out those things are painted on and they are not coming off so guess what we're gonna have to buy a new axle anyhow 
So I'm going to just cut that son of a bitch off and be done with it. Uh, yeah, just going to cut it right off. We have the new hubs anyway. You've already seen the new hubs. If you haven't, go back and check out the beginning of this video. Uh, anyway, yeah. So first, before I decide to just cut it off, let's see what we can do here. If we can get the rest of this stuff cracked. And then we'll just cut this thing and be done with it. So the way this works is there's two Allen little insets on here. There's one here. Let's see if we can't. Okay. So there's one there. And then we'll spin it. And there's another one over here. Oh yeah, that one rolls too. Cool. And these have some Loctite on them, I can see, so that's good. We'll note that when we put it back together. All right, now we crack this guy. And of course, I don't really have anything to do that with, so we're gonna have to use a, we're gonna have to get creative here. I think I'm gonna have to use a pipe wrench. <laughs> it's all I got. My crescent wrench is just like one size too small. It just doesn't quite fit over that thing. And I have the Motion Pros from my 400EX build and they don't fit on here either. All right, folks, so this nut right here is a 46 millimeter. And of course, my other build has a 45.5 millimeter, so it just doesn't fit. So I've ordered the proper piece because we're gonna need to torque it when we put it back together. And it has the uh, torque wrench half inch square on it. For removal though, we don't really need anything to remove it, uh, like a torque wrench or anything. So I'm gonna try a pipe wrench. <laughs> Cause I'm impatient. I don't wanna wait like four days for me to get the part. So anyway, we're gonna try this big ass pipe wrench and see if it works. Well first of course we're gonna lock it down. So we'll lock it in there. Alright, now we'll see if we can't get that thing to budge. Well there it goes. Look at that. See, well, the only bad thing about this is we leave the, the pipe wrench marks on it. But uh, we're going to get a new one of these anyway, I think. So it really doesn't matter that much. And it's kind of a pain in the ass because pipe wrenches are really heavy. And really awkward. All right, let's see if, uh, no. See if we can't use the channel locks now. Oh yeah, that's much better. Now it's getting easier. All right, now we got all this stuff cracked. I really wish we didn't have to cut this axle. <laughs> All right, folks, check this out. Since this castle nut won't break, I already I took it back down again and I stood on it. And I used uh, a hammer and this thing just will not budge. So guess what we're gonna do? This axle's history. We have a new wheel hubs already. So let's just uh, crank it down and forever, you know, if anybody has anything to say, now's the time. No one? All right, goodbye. All right, folks, check it out. My Dremel did most of the work, but it got a little too hot, so I had to stop and check it out. It's ready to go. Finished it off by hand, the old fashioned way. A little bit of brute force. <laughs> well, there we go. That's not the ideal way that I had planned this, but you know, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Well, check that out. That thing is painted on there and not moving. So, yeah. Now we can pull this guy and the washer. Uh, check it out, folks. Another rainy day in the desert. Are you kidding me? This has got to be some kind of record. 
There is so much rain in the desert this year that I feel like I'm living back in the Midwest again. I'm from Northern Illinois, and yeah, I feel like that the mosquitoes and the rain and all the craziness that I'm back there again. But anyway, this is beautiful. Uh, the temperature is nice and cool when it's usually in the hundreds still. So, yeah. Check that out. That's much better than the hundreds. Woo! Hells yeah. I'll take it any day. So we're cruising right along here, and we're going to finish getting that guy off of there. And uh, yeah, you want to make sure that you subscribe. Make sure that you click the all. Get notified whenever 11 Gallery ATV puts out the new videos. You get notified. You get them in your inbox. You will uh, see that another video has been put up by 11 Gallery ATV. And we're going to continue on with this thing and get this baby down and get this frame. Swing arm. Arms. Subframe. All this stuff out to the powder coater here pretty soon. So let's continue on and get this baby stripped down. We need to get this axle and and uh, swing arm and stuff off the back of here, and we need to balance it at the same time. So yeah, let's continue on. All right, so the brake rotor just pops right on out of here, like so, and it's got splines, and this baby just goes into the carrier seal right there, and then we got a, we got a snap ring right here. So then we just take the spreader, Snap ring pliers, we line up the holes. Ow! And of course, that baby's locked up in there. And of course, the wind is picked up. I don't know if you can hear it back there, but man, <laughs> this is crazy desert weather, I'm telling you. Let's see if we can't persuade this guy. There, the whole thing moved now, so hopefully now we can just undo this. Well, we got part of it off. So let's walk it around. There we go. And now this guy should just come right out of there too. There we go. All right, and now we got this. And we're gonna pull this too because we're gonna get this baby powder coated so we don't want that in there. And this guy takes an eight millimeter Allen head. Make sure we're going the right direction. All right. That's kind of what I was afraid of. Uh, hmm. Let's try a breaker bar. Well, that thing doesn't want to seem to budge. The MPPL, multi-purpose penetrant lube. All right, well, let's try a, a little bit of heat and see if we can't get that baby off there. It's been soaking for a while. My handy dandy tiny little, uh, <laughs> cute little Lexavon uh, torch here. <laughs> Give it a little flip and... You can't get it too close because it'll die. There it goes. That sucker was in there.
All right, let's try a ratchet and see if we got her good enough now. Oh my God. This is the tightest bolt in the history of mankind, I swear to God. Oh my God. How many threads does this thing have? There. Whew. Well, there's our nice fine threads that are ruined right here. And that had Loctite in it. A lot of it, it looks like. So, yeah, we're going to have to re-clean those threads when we put this back together, but that's okay. All right, folks, now technically we could have removed the axle uh, before we removed the brake stay, but we went this route because we're taking the whole thing apart anyway, but in just in case uh, you're just taking the axle out and maybe you're just replacing the axle or something like that, you could have left the, the uh, brake stay on there and the clip and everything, and what you'd want to do is... Take yourself a socket over your nice hub that we just chopped off. <laughs> but take your hub off and then put a socket over the threads and that'll line up with uh, that little piece and then you can beat that out. But you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna use the basher hammer and we're just gonna crank that thing out of there. There we go. All right, now we're gonna put the chain obviously back up over the top of here. Now we can pull this guy on out and hopefully we don't fall over. We're gonna see how much top heavy we are or we're gonna see if we can't get this out or not. Well, we're gonna be replacing all this stuff anyway, so let's just pull this. Uh... All right, so we're gonna pop this seal off and I put a breaker bar in here and then we'll uh. Just try to pry that sucker out with this guy. Boom. And then, I don't know what it's caught on right there, because shouldn't this sucker just cruise right on out of there? There. Now we have the axle out, finally. And we're definitely gonna get a new axle because, uh, you know, that's not gonna work too good. <laughs> Woo! Can we weld it back on and then, uh, no, hell no. Anyway, let's move on. Let's loosen up these bearing carrier bolts. God. All right, we can just get rid of these. All right, we removed all the pinch bolts because we uh, don't need to tighten this back up. Obviously, we're going to get it powder coated and we don't want to leave the bolts in there. So, boom. I had to close the garage door, by the way, too. I hope this is not too much of an echo. Uh, the wind here is insane. <laughs> All right, so now we should be able to get that bearing carrier out of there, and uh, that's the last step on this end of this, and hopefully that guy's not seized in there. But it might as well be, because everything else was a pain in the ass here too, so. And I don't really care much about this one, because we're going to get a new one. But let's just see if it comes out. Well, it does. There we go. Thank God that wasn't seized in there. Oh yeah, well we haven't got it all the way out yet, have we? No. <laughs> so, what am I going to use? Yes, this fits. You guys might remember, oh, if you watched my 200X build, you'll notice that the lamp tube makes its uh, appearance again. <laughs> yeah, I took my lamp apart, if you want to check that out up there. Uh, I took the lamp apart in order to make myself, when I re rebuilt the front forks, uh, to pound the seals in. So it went perfectly over the fork tubes and everything, and fit in there perfectly. 
So yeah, it's gonna make another appearance. Well, there we go, it didn't even fall. Now we can just retrieve this nice and beautifully. Look at that. Actually isn't too bad, is it? All right, well, we'll figure out what to do. But anyway, let's move on to the rest of this uh, dog here and get going. All right, folks, next we're gonna undo this linkage, shock linkage, and we're gonna undo the shock, and we're gonna do the swing arm from the linkage, and we are going to take the shock out first before we remove this. Then we're gonna loosen everything up, and then we're gonna move around to the front, and we're gonna get that front A arm off of there because otherwise we're gonna drop off of the lift, and that would not be cool. So this is a 17. Let's see if we can't get that to crack. Got a nut on the other side, of course. So there's a 17 on the other side. There's that. And now let's crack the other one. All right, well that guy's on there. Can we pound that out? Yes. All right, now let's get this guy broke right here before we do this. All right, there's one. There we go. All right, folks, now let's get this top shock uh, bolt uh, undone, and uh, we should be able to lift that shock right on up out of there, and then we can move on to the front, get that front off of there, and then pull the swing arm, and we'll be balanced. So, I got a breaker bar on here. Let's get this baby cracked. Okay. Now let's see if we can't drive it home with the impact. There we go. And now the shocks should pull right on up out of here. Whoa, see, now we're top heavy. We're gonna let that sit right there, and now we're gonna go get the front end off of this thing. So, now we're gonna pull these front A-arms. They're just a matter of three bolts. One here, one here, and one here. And they are 14 millimeter head bolts with 17 millimeter nuts at the end. So let's get cracking. We're gonna do this with a breaker bar. Now we'll be able to zip that off with the uh, impact. So let's get the rest of these crackle act. We'll put the wrench here so when it comes up it'll lock on there and stop. There we go. All right, now let's crack a like this last one. There, jeez. All right. All right, let's just zip this guy out of here now. And we'll zip this one out. We'll do a flip-flop, 14 wrench. And a 17, if we can get in there, we can't. There, now we should be able to. Thank God. All right, now, we gotta hang on to this dog. 
We just pull this out. There's that one. And we'll just zip that guy out and zip this one out. And now, there we go. This side's done. Now we're back having a tiny bit, which is cool because now we pull the shock and we'll be all balanced. All right, so now let's get that shock and swing arm out of there and we will be, woo, stripped down. We can send the frame to the powder cutter. Woo, let's get it done. So what we're gonna do first is we're just gonna pick this guy up. And this guy should come right on through. All right, now we got the shock out. Woo, all right. All right, folks, now we can just pull this uh, pivot bolt and we can pull the swing arm. And then we have the linkage and the chain will come with. So let's get this done and then we'll be stripped down. So we'll take us the old, one of my uh, old ones, but I think this is for a 400 EX. And we'll dump this guy through. All right, now we should be able to crack it like this guy out. Boom. And now, we just take that other pivot bolt that we put through out and voila. Woo, look at that. Yes. Now we drop the chain and there we go. And now the linkage is the last little piece hanging out. Boom, and our linkage. We can get this baby cleaned up and get it to the powder coater. Woo, this is exciting. We're gonna be making some progress finally. Yes. So you wanna subscribe because you're gonna watch this whole thing get rebuilt. And now that we have it all stripped down, we're gonna rebuild everything, the shocks and the everything, the motor, the uh, steering stem bearings, we're gonna put new ones in there too. We're gonna do everything. Yes, we're gonna be doing new brakes, we're gonna be doing rebuilding the calipers, we're gonna be rebuilding everything and putting it all back together again with brand new shiny bolts and nuts and screws and bearings and brackets and everything you can think of, bushings and all the new rubber pieces and everything. So yeah, woo, but you know what time it is. Peace out, Girl Scouts, woo.